Hello, good morning everybody and uh, welcome to another um, of Mr W's maths lessons. Um, today we're looking at time and we're going to be looking at clocks. So to begin with, let's look at some of that key vocabulary that's really important to use. Hello Stripey, hello Barry. Let's have a look at some key words to do with time. So time itself t i m time uh, you've got another split i digraph there always worth remembering so today we're going to cover big hand which means the minutes the small hand which means the hours we're going to look at o'clock and we're going to look at half past we won't do any more today you know, there's a lot more to, to look at and talk about, um, but we're just going to focus on these to begin with. Okay, guys, in a minute, I'm going to need you to go and get 12 objects because we're going to make our own clocks on the floor. All right. Okay, guys, what do you think? This is my creation. This is my clock. All right. I've put the numbers in all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve at the top. Okay, so let's go into some of our keywords today. So, using this spatula as my big hand, and that's pointing directly at the twelve. Okay, when you put the small hand in, which is my wooden spoon. When they're both pointing at the 12, that would be 12 o'clock, okay? If I was to move the small hand round one more, that would be one o'clock. We move it with the one hour hand round again. It now two o'clock, okay? I'm gonna test you now, see what you think the time is if I move the hour hand again what time do you think it is now three o'clock excellent okay one more time I'm gonna jump a few now I'm gonna move it over this side of the clock now what time do you think it is now on my clock nine o'clock why is it nine o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the nine and the minute hand is pointing to the 12, uh, which is also known as o'clock. So nine o'clock. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the big hand, the minute hand. Okay, it doesn't just stay there. It doesn't just stay pointing at the 12 forever and ever. No, the big hand has a really important role. Okay, it goes around the clock. Okay, it goes all the way around, all the way around, until it goes back to the 12. And once it's gone round all the way once, that's one hour, okay? So, I'll demonstrate for you. So at the moment, my clock is saying one o'clock. One o'clock, because the hour hand is pointing to the one and the minute hand is pointing to 12, also known as o'clock. So it's one o'clock. Now, watch my minute hand. It's gonna go all the way around, all the way around, back to the 12. But at the same time, that hour hand will have moved from one to two, okay? So in the time, the minute hand has gone all the way around that clock, that hour hand has just moved from one to two, okay? If my clock was to say three o'clock, this hour hand would move slowly between the numbers whilst my minute hand goes all the way around, okay? All the way around to back to the top. Oh, look at the time on my clock now. 
what has happened to the minute hand? Can anyone tell me? It's pointing to Stripey, that's right. And Stripey is at the six. He's not of a 12 with Barry, is he? So what's happened to that minute hand? He's not over here. He's not here. He's not over that side. He is half way round, okay? So that's why we say half past, because it's half round the clock, okay? Let's have a look at that hour hand. The hour hand is pointing halfway between three and four. It hasn't gone past four yet. So that means it's still something to do with three o'clock whilst the minute hand is half past, halfway round. So what we can say now is it's half past three because we're past the three and on our way to four o'clock. It's half past three. And you can also have a look there and see where the hour hand is. And it's halfway, isn't it? It's about halfway between the three and the four. So that's why we say half past three. What would the time be if the hour hand was there? And that's right, half past four. Because the, uh, the, min the hour hand is halfway between the four and the five. How about now? That's right, half past five. This is a tricky one, this one here. What would we say that time is? That's right, half past six, okay. Right then, we've got the clock face all set up, but it's not complete. It's missing a couple of, um, couple of odd items. Yes, the hour hand and the minute hand. So, I'm going to say a time and I want you to tell me where we need to put the, the hands. So, I'm going to say one o'clock. What do we need to do to make one o'clock? Okay, we need to put the minute, minute hand at the 12 because that's o'clock. And that's right, yes. The hour hand points to the one to make one o'clock. Very good, guys. So this time, my clock says 11 o'clock. Okay, now then the challenge is how to change that time to seven o'clock. What do we need to do to change the time to seven o'clock? Stripey, any ideas? You're gonna have a think. Okay, Barry, what do you think? Hmm, right, yeah, that's fine. Good, great answer. Barry said we need to move the hour hand to point to the seven. Is he right? Yeah. Excellent, Barry. Well done. Um, have a lot of fun with it. Um, choose uh, 12 objects and uh, make sure you label it 1 to 12. And um, just have a play around with some different times. Challenge each other uh, to the maker time using o'clock and half past. If you're getting confident, then by all means, move on to quarter past and quarter two. Uh, I'll attach a, um, an example onto tapestry to show the children. What, we, what might be a nice idea is to, um, to put an object on the different hours that um, are relevant to that hour. So, Maybe you had have dinner at six o'clock, so perhaps put a dinner plate. Um, bedtime, maybe they got their bedtime teddy at um, seven, eight o'clock. You know, it depends on, um, on your routine, but it's nice to um, talk about different times of the day. Children will um, start to use that vocabulary. So yeah, it's an it's a introduction to the clock and um, good luck.